Anime Studio Pro 8 has powerful vector-based draw paint and fill tools. Now to get started we have to make sure we're on a vector layer and at frame 0. And the first tool we're going to have a look at is the Add Point tool. So the Add Point tool, if we have Auto Weld turned on, it will automatically weld these points together with Auto Fill selected and will automatically choose the fill that you have selected from the Styles palette. If you hold down the Alt key, you can quickly change the outline color as well. We could use the Line Width tool to thicken the stroke. You can also do the same for certain points. And you could also animate this over time as well by moving to a different point in your timeline. I'm going to delete the keyframes and now move on to the freehand tool. Now the freehand tool is very powerful. It's similar to sketching with pen or pencil on paper. If you have a pen tablet, you could select use pen pressure and it would use the pressure sensitivity of your pen tablet's feature set. Now we have auto weld, auto fill, and auto stroke turned on. And we have a new feature that allows us to sketch much more freely by being able to combine the delete edge tool with the pencil tool, the freehand tool. So I can just cut off these overlapping lines and I can sketch much more freely than before. And you also have the draw shape tool. The draw shape tool allows me to choose from different presets. If I hold down my shift key, I can constrain the proportions. And then if we wanted to change the color, we could again click and select the shape using the select shape tool. If I wanted to, I could also use the eyedropper tool. I could click on a shape and I could hold down my alt key and I would apply the style to the next shape. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm going to select the shape here going to change the outline to blue and stroke of 10. Now I'm going to select the eyedropper tool and I'm going to apply the same to the other shapes here.